Let's build a dodecahedron. And I want to derive it from the underlying geometry. And what's cool is you can start with the same um, starter point you would for an icosahedron, which is to make three intersecting rectangles following the golden ratio. So we're going to start, we're going to do 1 to 1.618, which is the golden ratio. You can, of course, multiply or divide these however you like, but we'll just start for the sake of demonstration there. Look down the short axis of the first rectangle you made. You can start on whichever plane you like. I'll tap the letter N to square up and draw our next rectangle with the long axis following the line of the short axis of the left rectangle. 1.618 to 1. Let's spin around till we find a plane that has no rectangles. Do a new sketch. And again, we're going to make this one around the short axis of the other one, like this. 1.618, oops, 8 to 1. Great. So what we've created here are three intersecting rectangles, the points of which uh, outline or delineate the triangular faces of an icosahedron, which is really cool. But we're not going to make an icosahedron. We're here to make a dodecahedron. But let's start similarly to how we started before with the icosahedron. Let's make a plane that will be one of those faces. Let's make a sketch within that plane. Let's harness these three points, which are within the plane. Hit the letter U to use them. Hit the letter L to draw some lines from point to point. Each line gets fully defined because it's going from point to point, so you can't draw a chain like you otherwise might. Now what we need to do is find the center point of this triangle. One way to do that is to go from the center point of this line to here and the center point of this line to there and make them construction lines, but we can cheat by going view normal to sketch plane or hitting the letter uh, N to square up, which is very important. Make sure you do that before you do this next step. Click the origin, hit the letter U, boom, we've got the center point of that triangle. So. What we've just established is the vertex of our dodecahedron. From origin to this point is one of the vertices uh, between or among the uh, uh, pentagonal faces of a dodecahedron. So we need to make this line. So let's do that. We don't have a plane that's there, so let's make one. Since we're just making a line, we can do these two points and any old other point. We use that one, three-point plane. Let's make a sketch within that plane. Let's use this point. Let's draw a line from the origin to this point. Um, now we need to extend either above or below this point. It's easier to go above, but for, for scaling purposes, you want to go below, you can. We're going to extend above today. And you can then dimension this line if you want. And this will represent the distance from your origin to one of the vertices of your dodecahedron. So in this case, we're going to do one inch which will get us a roughly two-inch diameter dodecahedron. So um, we will then make a loft from the triangle to this point. And what we've done here is created a 3D object which uh, references the, one of the vertices for this. So we need five of these to go around to create a, a pentagon. And to do that, we're going to need an axis, which we don't have yet. So let's find something that contains the origin and one of these tips. It looks like this plane will do it. So let's use this point. Let's draw a line from here to here. And we're going to call this axis. Oops, we're going to try to call this axis. Good. By the way, we're going to call this very important sketch vertex axis since it's both. OK, so we'll be using that a lot. So first, though, let's take this shape and do a circular transform this axis will be the axis. We want five of them. Cool. So what we've got here now is five points, which represent one of the metagonal faces of our dodecahedron, each of which is um, the, the vertex we defined before from here to that point. So let's make a three-point plane in this plane. Let's do a sketch in that plane. Let's take the five points. Let's hit the letter U to use them. Oops, missed that one. Let's hit the letter L. Let's draw our pentagon. Again, you can't draw a chain, so it's a little more clicking than it might otherwise be. But that's OK. OK, we're now done with these parts, so we can hide these. But we've got our pentagon. The pentagon, which, whose ratio from size to distance from the origin is just perfect because that's what we did all those other steps to establish. So let's make another loft here. And 
boom, we've got one piece of our dodecahedron. So let's go back to this. So this is going to represent the <clears throat> rotational point of our dodecahedron, and this will be the top of our dodecahedron. So the first step we're going to do is save ourselves a couple of steps and mirror this guy over the bottom face and make it an add. Good. Okay. So now we're going to take these two pieces together and we're going to do a circular pattern. Again, we want add. The axis is going to be our vertex axis right here. But we only want three of those. And that's add. All right, make sure you do that because it'll just save you some steps. So we've got the top half of our dodecahedron. Now all we need is a horizon plane so we can mirror it across and rotate it. But we don't have a plane that goes right across, but we do have a plane that's in the same orientation down here. So let's highlight these three points, make a plane. And then from that plane, we'll do an offset plane, but we're going to change it from an offset plane into a plane point, which now needs a point, which is the origin. Boom. Now we've got our mirror plane. So let's mirror this guy across that using the plane we just made. Make sure you do new in this case because we have to rotate it. So let's take this guy and do a transform. We're going to do a rotate transform. The axis is our handy dandy where it go? vertex axis. There it is. Now, how much to rotate it? Well, we need to move it half of one third, right? So half of 120 degrees, and that's 60 degrees. And boom. This won't let you add in this step, but now you can take this and this and boolean them together and make one solid dodecahedron. Hide all your sketches and all this stuff. And there it is. There you go.